Hey everyone, it's time for your Monday Daily Trucker News Update. I'm Brittany Joyner. And I'm Carlin Stafford. We have a lot of news to cover today, including more federal help to address the Colonial Pipeline emergency, what happened to a major bridge that caused traffic delays in two states, and incredible video of a nine vehicle crash in Idaho. So let's get trucking. The U.S. Department of Transportation announced additional measures to help states that have been impacted by the cyber attack on the Colonial Pipeline. The pipeline, which spans more than 5,500 miles from Texas to New Jersey, halted operations due to a ransomware attack that has been linked to a criminal gang. The DOT determined that states covered by presidential disaster declarations may use interstate highways to transport overweight loads of gasoline and other fuels. This comes after a declaration issued by the FMCSA, which provided relief from hours of service regulations to truckers helping the petroleum supply chains along the East Coast. The American Trucking Association is calling for Congress to adopt legislation designed to improve connectivity across commercial corridors and ensure long-term funding for highway programs. ATA President Chris Spears says the legislation would result in well-functioning commercial corridors that promote economic competitiveness and prosperity. According to the ATA, trucks are bound to remain the dominant freight transporter this year and it's projected to move about 70% of the country's freight. Over the next 10 years, trucks will transport about 2.5 billion additional tons of freight than current levels. You know, that's a very important thing that they should probably really look into. But as I've spoken with several of those organizations that speak to Congress, a lot of that just gets kind of thrown into any highway bill that Congress seems to pass. So we'll see if things get addressed. But right now, I know some people are like, come on. We need a little bit more than what we get. <laughs> Give it to us. Give it to us. Yeah. This is a problem we may start seeing a lot more often. A major interstate bridge shut down after inspectors found structural cracks. The I-40 bridge crossing the Mississippi River connecting Arkansas and Tennessee is closed indefinitely, forcing drivers to use a 71-year-old bridge linking Memphis and Arkansas until the 48-year-old one, almost two-mile bridge, is repaired and safe. Now, the 2020 National Bridge Inventory report said the bridge was in fair condition with all primary structure elements sound but I think it's safe to say the bridge probably needs an upgrade. Shell is planning not one, but two cross-country trips to showcase its futuristic, fuel-efficient rig, the Shell Starship 2.0. Originally, there was only one trip planned, but now the company plans to host two to have more results and data to share with the hope that it will lead to better understanding of the relationship of future technologies and efficiency. The two trips will start in San Diego and will end in Jacksonville, Florida. The first will happen in May, while the second one happens in August. If you haven't seen pictures of that one, go look at it because it is very cool, so very cool. sleek. Yes. And I am definitely interested to see kind of the data that they get out of that yeah. because that's going to make a lot of changes to the way trucks are built in the future. It is. It's so futuristic. And just like you said, it's sleek, but like kind of looks like we're way in the future. Right. It definitely futuristic is the way to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Idaho State Police are investigating after a nine vehicle accident on Interstate 84 in Boise that left several people in the hospital. Look at this video from KTVB. According to their report, a semi hauling lumber had caught fire after a driver made a sudden lane change and hit the semi, causing it to sideswipe yet another vehicle hit the median, sparked the fire, and then jackknife yet another semi. Now the driver of the semi that caught fire had to jump out of the cab in order to get away and get, get away safely. Well, Wyoming is looking to add more truck parking and truck passing lanes to Interstate 80. The Wyoming DOT says crews have started working on the I-80 winter freight project between Rollins and Laramie, one eastbound and one westbound. Officials say the truck passing lanes will help move traffic more efficiently and will help prevent crashes. The project will also add 100 truck parking spaces to two locations, one near Queely Dome Road and the other near Fort Steele. You know, we've We've seen pictures out of Wyoming whenever they have a blizzard and everyone's just kind of parked on the highway. Hopefully some of these truck parking spaces yes. will help with that so that way the drivers can, you know, pull off and right. as it said, not cause as many accidents, not saying that they cause it, people not paying attention generally cause them. but. It gives them somewhere to get off the road safely. Yes, and more truck parking. We need it always. So. Always. <laughs> well, that does it for today's update. Tune in tomorrow for all the trekking news you need. 